Welcome to the first inaugural edition of From the Mind of a Madman. When I had originally envisioned this particular vlogging series, I wanted to do things that were fun, upbeat, and usually riddled with a shitload of curse words. But I thought for the very first edition of this, I would try to approach the elephant and or the jackass in the room. And for those of you who don't get the reference or the metaphor, I'm talking about the presidential election that occurred on November 3rd, uh, just about a week ago. Uh, normally, while we do these elections, it's usually 24, maybe 36 hours before we know who wins. We're a week removed from this election, and we still don't officially know who won. Now, it's stated that President-elect, and I use that term loosely, Joe Biden has won the election with 290 electoral votes, but in melodramatic fashion, as is to no one's surprise, Donald Trump is actually fighting this ruling in a court of law. You heard that right. Lord Sexual Cheeto is in fact fighting this ruling in a court of law. The most prolific president of my lifetime, probably ever, is not going down without a fight. Now, people can say what they want about voter fraud and fraudulent this and mail-in fraud and all this and that. Fraud got thrown around a lot in the last week. Would it surprise me if there was some form of cheating on either side of this election? Jesus Christ, not even remotely. Let's be honest, politics in America is probably the bloodiest and dirtiest game that exists. Why would you not cheat if you needed to to win? So I think that we're going to see the fallout from this for a very, very long time to come. Here's the deal. Nobody's sure what's going to happen for the next four years. Hell, when Trump won in 2016, none of us knew what was going to happen then. But... I still stick to the adage now that I stuck to then. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how bad he's going to be or how good he's going to be. Nobody knew how good or bad Trump was going to be. And personally, I still stand by the fact of something I said on Facebook. I just saw this post four years ago. If you voted for him or you didn't vote for him, it does not matter. And I'll tell you why. Because you should, for all intents and purposes, want Biden to do well. Why? Because if he does well, you'll do well. I'll do well. My wife and kid will do well. Your wife and kids will do well. Your brothers will do well. Your family will prosper. If the president does well for America, then I believe we all win as American people. The last 18 months has taught me a lot, and it usually boils down to, did you vote red or did you vote blue? And here's the thing, it doesn't fucking matter how you voted. This whole thing, and let's cue the tinfoil hats, because this is my general opinion on this entire matter. We were too busy fighting amongst ourselves about who voted for who, who was better here, who fucked who in a White House, who did this, who did that. We were so busy fighting amongst ourselves that we lost what we had as Americans. And we didn't know what was going to happen, where we were, or why we were there. We were so busy fighting amongst ourselves that we didn't see what was happening at the top. We were too busy fighting with our neighbors and our friends to realize how badly we were getting fucked by the system. But it's too late now. Here's the thing. Whatever happens in the next four years, whether you voted for Biden, you voted for Trump, whichever way it goes, this is how you should approach the next four years of your life. Hope to God this man does well. Hope that he actually is able to pull off some of the things that he says he is. Because I do think that somewhere in that brain, he is trying what he believes is best. But 
always have this thought in the back of your mind. The next time you want to fight with the guy on your couch or the neighbor across the street who picks up your mail whenever you're on vacation because of who he voted for or who he should have voted for in your opinion, remember this. Those people care about you. Trump, Biden, Kamala, or what the fuck ever her name is, Pence, any member of Congress, if you are an elected official, they don't give a shit about you or me. It's just a fact. So in closing, please do me a favor. Write out the next four years. Hope that there is no nuclear holocaust because I don't want to fucking die yet. And proceed with caution for everyone. Because something tells me that even if your neighbor and your friend voted different than you, you both have the same thing in mind. And that's that you want America to thrive. Thank you.